predictions. Cubs win. Both? <laughs> if they lose, I predict a lot of painful emotional turmoil. Hopefully ending in great joy. Okay. Do you feel if they lose, the curse is real? Oh no, the curse is not real. Okay. That's and it. That it, curse ended on in the year 2000. The okay. Millennium ended the curse. What do you feel about the home field advantage rule? Since you know they won. I don't really understand it completely. <laughs> and a lot of fans hate it because they. I don't hate it. I mean, I, I'm a fan, and yeah. I think the team with the better record yeah. should get home court. Home court or home uh, field advantage? No, I don't think so. You don't think that's okay? No. Now I saw you. You did do the singing. Yes. I want to ask who you Carol. felt. <laughs> who you felt sang the seventh inning stretch the best? Eddie Vedder. Bill oh, Hurt. Eddie Vedder. Eddie Vedder can sing. <laughs> yeah, everybody else is just making fun of singing uh -huh. with their and shouting. You're right. They're just like Scotty Pippen. Eddie sounded good. He should sing it in concert. He did. He should just sing the concert. Yeah. Did you pay for your tickets? Sure did. How much were they? Uh, I don't remember. They were expensive. I had bought so many. I bought for my family and stuff. So. That's what I was gonna say. Like they were expensive, but it's all right. It's worth it, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Remember, I used to live near Wrigley, and it used to be seven bucks. And I was gonna say the Wrigley Field, the uh, the house over Wrigley. Yeah. Still three fifty, three hundred and fifty dollars just to watch it on the people's house. I used to sit in the bleachers for seven dollars. <laughs> <laughs> now it's a lot more expensive. Sure. Thanks so okay. much, Bob. Take care.